Hi Taurus, how are y'all doing? Welcome to your love reading. Um, thank you for being here with me. I really do appreciate each and every last one of you. Sorry, I just had to get my coffee. You know how it is in the morning, just need a little pick me up, okay? All right, let's check in your love life to see what's coming your way. Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus in love. What is coming to Taurus? Is it Taurus or Taurus? I think it's Taurus. <laughs> let Toto, let Toto. Let Toto. What's coming to Taurus in love? There's no place like Toto. There's no place like Toto. <laughs> you guys want that intro? <laughs> Taurus, you have some freak that's apologetic. I don't know what they're apologizing for, you know. But this freak is apologetic, okay. Some of you, they, they apologize for being withdrawn, okay. But, yeah, they, they coming in with the apology, honey. Some of you I'm hearing, you don't really even want to really hear it, though. It's coming to Taurus in love. Especially if they have some kind of uh, story. <laughs> Especially if they have some kind of story, Taurus, attached to it. You're just like, man, I look, just save it. Take the apology and put it where it don't, where the sun don't shine. <laughs> All right, Taurus. So you have withdrawn, heavy heart, and dreaming of you. So I'm feeling this freak may have ghosted you for some of you. Okay. And they have a heavy heart. They've been dreaming about you and it's making it worse. Okay, but they feel as though they're meant to be with you. Okay. This freak is literally dreaming of you. It's coming to Taurus in love. Total. I keep seeing this Knight of Cups. So, yeah, someone's definitely coming in here. Could be a Pisces. Let's come into Taurus in love. Let me get six cards on the table. What the heck is going on for Taurus in love? Three of Pentacles. Okay. For some of you, this may be someone that you work with, go to school with, had a relationship with, was in a talking phase with, whatever the hell it is, okay? be someone that you were married to are married to okay this is a relationship or marriage they want to go to counseling or therapy maybe they think that's how it's going to work between you two okay um some of you i'm hearing they went to the church and they got advice and even the pastor told them what is wrong with you like Go and fix your marriage or your relationship and stop playing around, please. I, this is the last time I want you. I'm, I'm hearing even the pastors that they, they're going to stop them from coming into the church. <laughs> stop laughing, Torrance. They said they're going to, they don't, they're going to stop them from coming into the church because they just always come with excuses, a different confession, with, but with no change or results. The t even the pastors tired of listening to their crap. And I'm hearing if they have a pet, they talk to their pet a lot. But even the pet is like, man, look, just feed me my shit. I don't even want to hear it no more. <laughs> you could be dealing with another Taurus. Um, but yeah, judgment day is here, honey. Judgment day is here. This person has reflected on their actions um, and they want to do the right thing. Okay. I'm hearing this person is ready to make some type of change. Some of you, I'm hearing this frequency of therapy. Counseling on their own. Rehab something. Okay. Scorpio Taurus energy. Let's come into Taurus in love. But they it seems like this connection is coming back around, Taurus. You know, they, they want another chance with you here. Death is in the reverse. Scorpio again. Yeah, this per this freak is ready to um try again with you or something like that so i mean this could be as a result of like i don't know 
it feels like overthinking for some of you could have been that substance abuse some type of issue they had okay uh something was wrong here some of you this freak has been very confusing for some reason okay but I feel like what's important for you is that this person change. If they haven't changed and they're still doing the same shit they did before, you don't want them. Judgment is like, look, you gotta, it's time to pay the piper, okay? It's time to evaluate what the fuck has happened between us in the past and how we can grow and move on and do better in the future, okay? We can't keep repeating the same past mistakes. Or this person can't keep repeating the same past mistakes. And I feel like that's what you're concerned with, okay? You don't want to hear the apology, you don't care about their story, okay? What you want is results. And you want to make sure this freak is not here to do the right thing. Knight of Cups. So like I said, this person is coming in here. Um, and they're going to try to make you bring you their cup here. Okay? They're going to tell you that they've changed, that they've done X, Y, and Z. And whatnot. Okay. Did they really? I mean, I do see this person as being serious. Okay. They're not here. They're not pulling their leg or anything. But I feel like you need to let their actions do the talking. Because I feel like this person could talk a good game. But you need to allow their actions to show you. Right? With the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, he says the right things. He's very dreamy. But look, he needs to get real with himself. Can you really get your shit together? Don't sell me no dream. Don't sell me no illusion. So tell me the goddamn truth here. Okay. What is the uh, judgment for Taurus in love? Okay. You want results. That's what you're looking for. Hierophant keeps coming out. Some of you this freak is going to tell you that they went to therapy. I'm telling you. Or that they got help. Okay. Or they got advice. Okay. This may be someone who got some advice or something like that. From someone or something. And if you had a relationship with them. And it wasn't the healthiest. They may offer to go to therapy. To try to fix your relationship. Or your marriage. Yeah see this person was toxic. In some way shape or form. There was something that wasn't too healthy. About this situation here. Some type of pattern. Someone had some type of patterns that just wasn't serving them. And you just got tired of it. You gave them an ultimatum. You cut them off. Similar to Libra's reading could be dealing with the Libra. Once you, you know, you put two and two together here, Taurus, you added it all up in your mind like, oh, yeah, you need help. We can't continue on like this. You could be dealing with an Aries here. What is the high priestess? I mean, the high priest. Two of Cups came out for that. This may be a mutual thing they want to do with you. They may think that you both need to go to therapy and try to... They think that's, that's the golden ticket to fixing your relationship. Definitely feel like I'm dealing with a Taurus that could either be married or in some type of serious relationship with this person. Okay, or you were definitely in like a serious talking stage to where you were building something with each other, but something there was some kind of obstacle here. Lovers at the bottom of the deck, Gemini, they knew they want a new beginning though. So, Taurus, Libra, you could be dealing with Cancer, Aries, uh, Capricorn, Aquarius, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, that is what we see. I'm no longer toxic, Taurus. Let's do it again. It's not over. I love you long time. <laughs> I love you long time, Taurus. We love you long time. All right, what else? Taurus in love. What's coming? Taurus in love. Yeah, we got this King of Swords. 
here okay some of you getting this freak was acting very narcissistic okay so be careful okay or they were acting very cold some of you i'm not gonna lie it's like a childhood thing like they have something some kind of deep-seated issue that caused them to act like a tyrant okay or to act so heartless and cold and that's not even how they really feel but that's what they were doing okay they were being very cold towards you even in your marriage or relationship like they just i don't know if it's some of you maybe they were holding a grudge uh whatever but i'm i'm not gonna lie it feels like this person did get some type of help temperance yeah see this, this person maybe they've been working on their healing um but they're ready to compromise and bring peace to the situation now. They want forgiveness for being so callous and being a jerk. Some of you, this person was accusing you of things or had trust issues that wasn't true. They had to work on the trust issues. They're going to tell you they're going to work on it or some bullshit like that. Basically is what I'm getting. Okay. Okay yeah that's what's going on here so they're ready to plant new seeds with you they're ready to step up okay and they hope that you know you will give them another chance to do better with you here they do want to be better i'm not gonna lie sometimes you know in the reading i can see them like they're no they're still a freak they're still you know gonna do the same thing but i could I could feel genuinely that this person really does value your relationship, your connection, and they want to do better, okay? They are willing to get help. They're willing to seek whatever they got to do to be with you here. All right. Interesting reading. They're willing to do things differently. Yeah, some of you, they played in La La Land too much. They started seeing illusions and stuff, thinking that you're doing this, you're doing that. And it just translated to just probably really sabotage things and whatever the hell's wrong with this person. Okay, and that's basically how it went, past love. It's going to be someone from the past. Some of you, this person had problems with control. They were being very tyrannical, being an asshole, a jerk, whatever you want to call it. The King of Swords reverse could be very, like strict very cr not cruel but he could be very strict and basically like a real jerk okay he knows it all you know he's uh he he's really emotionless really cold he could be a little ruthless okay um he oftentimes does represent like a narcissistic narcissist <laughs> Or someone who has narcissistic tendencies. I, I don't know, guys. Look, I'm not a therapist. I'm not a doctor. I'm not here to diagnose anyone. But if you love this person, Taurus, spirit is saying it's fixable. It's up to you, though. I'm not telling you what to do. And then you have spiritual growth. So it does feel like this person is growing spiritually. And they're starting to realize a lot of things about themselves that they need to go ahead and change and get, get rid of here. Okay? But they're definitely serious about... Uh, um, you know, having what they have with you for sure. You know, they, they, they've, they've woken up Taurus. They've, they have gotten the memo. They've got, they've smelled the coffee and all types of things here. Okay. They've learned their lesson. I'm hearing this freak has learned their lesson. Okay. All right, so that is what I have for you, Taurus. Uh, thank you for being here with me, um, and I will talk to you all soon.